Hello friends, I am starting a series on pandas library in python uh, which is used for data manipulation analysis. It is a fast, powerful, flexible and easy to use library and in this video we will see that uh, what we can do uh, with this library and what are the functionalities it provides uh, to manipulate the data and analyzing the data so first of all uh, to analyze the data we need to upload a file so here you can see that in this section I have created text cell on, on that I have written uploading a file so for that who don't have any idea about these uh, code cell and text cells they can refer me uh, uh, refer my video of in which I have explained the uh, how we can use the Google Colab uh, for the machine learning problems of so you just need to write a code uh, to upload a file uh, using this these two lines we have to write just from google.colab import files files.upload when you run it you will see uh, it will give you uh, two options just to uploading a file and and after uploading it you can uh, you can save it in your google drive so uh, it's, it's taking a little bit times just wait for you have to choose files you have two two options here choose files and cancel upload so choose file click on that and it will uh, take you to your desktop or any folder okay so you can browse your uh, uh, you can browse your file where you have uh, stored your so i have stored in this so i have this file dummy.csv file right so I have two files, Excel file and CSV file. I can read both the files, but for now uh, I'm use, I'm uploading just this file. This is dummy.csv. So it's uploading and it's a very small file. Uh, okay, so it's done now. So it this will show you that how uh, the file is uploaded and what are the content in the files and what are the things okay uh, how many uh, what are the size of this file you know so after uploading this file you this file is here okay here you will see that this is the table of content okay so whatever you have uh, written here in the uh, in using your text cell it will appear here it's, it's like a table of content it's, it's like an indexing of this uh, Jupyter notebook so here uh, now we have one of other option is files so you will click on that you will see that you have here uh, one file that you have just uploaded uh, by name dummy.csv okay so okay now now to uh, read the content of this file or to modify the content of this file you need to import a library which I uh, which uh, this lecture is based upon which is a pandas uh, library so you can easily uh, import a library uh, using import instruction means import pandas as pd so create object as pd now as successfully uh, executed and now using this you can read a file so to read a csa file what we have to do you have to uh, call a function like pd dot read csv which is pandas function and you have we have many options in uh, with the read csv file when you put your cursor here on read csv you will see that uh, in read csv uh, we have many options here we can i uh, 
we can use these uh, these parameters that that can be adjusted okay so for more details you can uh, open in open this in new tab and you can write the documentation of this function so for now what i have to do i have to uh, give a file name okay so my file name is uh, dummy.csv here you can see dummy.csv is my file and comma i have here one thing to be noted is header is equal to none so in that file i have not uh, create i have not created any header okay so header means the name of that uh, column so now to read this file you have to execute this command and here well, I have written df because in df we have all the content of the dummy.csv so when I print the df uh, you will see that the uh, these are the uh, five rows okay in this uh, data and there are two columns right? so columns are basically the series in pandas so I have uh, included uh, a parameter as header is equal to none. So header is none. That that means here we we don't have any header. So we have we don't have given any name to this uh, series. So we have two series zero and one. So by default, if you uh, says that header is none and you want to rename uh, the uh, the column okay so in that case you have to specify header is equal to none so now uh, the question is which is the obvious question that how we can name a column okay how can we how can we give the name to the column so this is uh, how you can do this so pd dot resp i am reading this again okay so the media csv this is the file and name so what we have to uh, change in this file uh, so there is a parameter called names and so what name you want to assign to this column so first is the class name of the class means uh, this is the data for the school right so these are the student these are the class names okay nursery primary first second third and these are the number of students so what i have uh, what i have what the name are uh, i have given here is names is equal to class and for the second discount is in the same order uh, in in the same order in the data is appearing so just to run it and see the changes if it is there right? so just print it so you can print uh, with the command print a df or, or just simply write df so okay so in the, both the cases the, the output will be same and it will give you the it will give you a data frame so df is a data frame okay so it will give a data frame with the uh, column names assigned to it class and count so now accessing a column okay how we can access a column so it's very easy to access a column uh, we can uh, access a column using uh, the df uh, data frame and in the in the data frame we will use a bracket and within that bracket we have to write the name of the column so here i am accessing a class column and i want to print it so df class is this okay so it will give you another data frame which is of uh, one uh, series right so it's a class now if you uh, want to change it to count so you can uh, do that uh, c o u n t so you have to just uh, change the name okay so you will see that here we have this uh, another uh, series or another column okay in in, the, in that data frame now you can sort it as well from so because we have uh, many functionalities uh, with the uh, data frames or with pandas okay it will you can sort the data uh, in ascending or descending order so for using the function dot sort underscore values okay so you can check here for this 
the documentation that what are the parameters you can add, uh, you can adjust according to your requirement so you can play with it to learn the code and to learn the more functionality associated with these commands and all this so for that I have uh, using the count uh, count because count is the uh, column name or count is the series that I have the numerical values so you can ascend uh, you can uh, you can sort it in ascending or descending order. so here you can see that ascending is false so in that case it will be in what order in descent order right because I have I have uh, Return it as a assign uh, the false to the ascending, so it will be it will uh, print the uh, sorted values in descending order. So it is in descending order. So if you make it true, it will give you an a uh, and ascending order, right? Because ascending is true, so you can play with it, right? So now uh, the another uh, function that is, that is associated with the uh, pandas and uh, with the data frame is you can find out the which is the minimum value so you can put that is now it will give you a 40 40 is the minimum value uh, from uh, among all the values that are in the count uh, column or in the count series right so here you can change with the min uh, to max so it will give you the maximum value So in that way you can uh, you can use this function. So let's meet in another video of pandas, and I hope that uh, it will enhance your knowledge of pandas. So thank.